Hello everyone, ARG back for some more Out of the Park Baseball 22. <clears throat> so today uh, we have a four game series against the Mets. Uh, it is my intent to play all four games today. Uh, we'll see what happens with that, but that's what I am planning to do. Um, so we are one game behind now in the standings last time out we played a three game series against the phillies and we dropped two out of three so as a result we are one game behind the phillies now um so it's gonna be kind of an interesting series here the mets have been kind of struggling i guess they're 18 and 16, so that's not too bad, but they have too good of a lineup to have that kind of record, so I don't know what's going to happen there. I hope that they don't start to wake up against us and that we can take three out of four against them. Uh, that's going to be a tall order. I won't be too upset if we split the series two games apiece, but I would really like to get at least three for sure. So... <clears throat> As far as injuries go, uh, of course, Kirby Puckett is back. Uh, he's been struggling since he came back, but he did come back. Um, and we only have Jose Rosado left. That's our... I don't... Yeah, I think I did check. Yeah, we didn't do anything on that front here. All right, so for the first game of the series, the Mets are going to send Eric Anson on the mound, and we are going to go with our ace, Ideo Nomo, who is still undefeated this season, but so is Eric Anson, by the way. Let's take a look at the Mets, uh, look at their injuries. Kent Marker is hurt, but he, it's a day-to-day -day injury for one day. Howard Johnson is still going to be playing with some back stuff stiffness that didn't keep him from hitting a home run against us last time out uh, not last time out but last time we played against the Mets then Mike Maddox is still out for the Mets all right I think that's pretty much it I think I'm pretty much ready to get started we have four games on the menu today so let's get rolling I'm gonna make some changes to my lineup. And let's bat Rivera fourth. Charles Johnson has not been doing all that great lately. So I'm hoping that he's gonna kinda wake up. Alright, I guess we're gonna go with that for game one. Alright, damn it. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is kinda weird today. Right, the Mets are going to go with Quilvio Veras batting first, Greg Jeffries batting second, Rafael Palmero is going to be batting third, Jeremy Burnitz is fourth, Ivan Calderon, former Montreal Expo, is batting fifth, Howard Johnson is going to be batting sixth today, Edgardo Alfonso playing shortstop is going to be batting seventh, and Todd Green, the catcher, is going to be batting eighth. That's pretty much the lineup we've seen every single game we played against them, except maybe for the catcher. They might have played their backup catcher once or something. So yeah, let's uh, let's get going. Go expose and play ball. All right, so we are at Shea Stadium. We're playing on the road today. Four game series. Looks like we have a lot of four game series this season. I've been having to uh, make decisions about those a lot, about if I do them in one sitting or split, split them at least quite a bit, or at least that's how it feels. All right, so leading off for us is going to be the line with the Shields facing Eric Hansen. So the Shields, uh, unless I'm mistaken, has an 18-game hitting streak, something like that. 
0 and 1 to the shields. <clears throat> That's it to center. Oh, and it's a diving catch by Jeremy Burnett, starting the game with the spectacular catch there. Kirby Pocket is next. So Kirby Pocket came back last game, and I think he went 0 for 7 or something like that. Keep in mind, the last game went 16 innings against the Phillies. 0-2 to Kirby, struck out swinging. John Crook is next, full count. Oh, that's popped foul, and that's cut by the catcher, Todd Green. And that's out number three. The Expos go down in order in the top of the first. We're going into the bottom of the first, tied at nothing, nothing. Quilvio Veras leading off the game for the Mets. No count against Ideonomo. And that's a base hit to right. All right, so first batter of the game gets on base for the Mets, and he has wheels, and that brings up Greg Jeffries. 0-2. That's a base hit to right. On the play, Quilvio Veras makes it to third base, and there's already runners on first and third with nobody out for the Mets. And now Rafael Palmero is the next batter. 2-2. Two and two. Struck out looking, that's huge, because now the double play might get me out of this. Jeremy Burnitz is next. 0-1. Oh, oh, the runner goes, so there's no uh, double play anymore. Uh, Jeffries is safe, that's his fifth stolen base this season. 2-1 to Burnitz now. That's it weekly to the pitcher, but that's an infield single. The bases are now loaded with one out. And that brings up former Montreal Expo, Ivan Calderon, doing better than he was when we last faced the Mets. He's now raised his batting average to 328. 2-2 two two to Calderon. That's a base hit to center. That's gonna... Oh, and then an error by Kirby Puckett. Oh, that's gonna be 3 nothing. Oh, no, it only scored two for some reason. Okay. All right, so two runs ca came in to score. Uh, there's runners on second and third. There's only one out. Howard Johnson is the batter. One and two. Struck out swinging. And now Edgar Edgardo Alfonso is the batter. One and two to him. Struck out swinging. All right, so despite everything, Edio Nomo did strike out the side. But we're down 2 nothing after 1. We're going to need to come back in this one here. Uh, Ruben Rivera leading off the second for us. 1-0 to him. Grounds it to third. He's thrown out at first for out number 1. Charles Johnson is next. 2-2. Two and two. That's it weekly to right. Howard Johnson after it. Catches it for out number 2. Now, Jeff King is the batter. Three and one to him. And he walks. All right, so a two out walk for Jeff King. And then brings up Russ McGinnis playing first base uh, to give a day off to Kent Herbeck. No count. Oh, the runner is going. And he's safe. All right, so Jeff King gets his second stolen base of the season. Now we have a runner in scoring position. Two outs, two and one to McGinnis. That's a base hit to right, and that's going to be extra bases all the way into the corner. So McGinnis has a double, and that should score a run. It is a two to one game now. Now Jody Reed is the batter with two outs, runner in scoring position, one and two. Struck out swinging. All right, the Expos claw back a little bit into this game. We're down one now, heading into the bottom of the second. Todd Green leading off that inning for the Mets. No count to him. That's a base hit to center. Ideo Nomo not pitching great, and I needed him too. My pitchers are tired from thanks to that 16 inning marathon last game. Eric Hansen is next. Runner on first, nobody out. 
no count, any bonds. That's a sacrifice it, so green makes it to second base. There is one out now, Scar runner in scoring position. One out for Quilvio Veris, 0-1. Pops it to center. Kirby Pocket is there, that's out number two. Now the batter is Greg Jeffries, 0-2. That's it to right. And that's cut by John Crock for out number three. All right, the Mets do not score in that inning. We're going into the top of the third here at Shea Stadium. The Mets are still up 2-1. to one. Ideo Nomo leading off the third for me, 2-0. That's it to right. Oh, that's, that's it really well. That's opposite field all the way to the fence. That's extra bases for Ideo Nomo. So Ideo Nomo with the double here. Right, so leadoff double and the uh, lineup flips back over and the line of the shields is the batter now. Oh and one rounds it to short. He's thrown out at first for out number one. On the play, Ideonomo makes it to third base. So now we only need a deep fly ball by Kirby Pocket and the game's gonna be tied. One and oh. That's grounded to first. He's thrown out at first for out number two, but the run does score. We have a tied game. It is 2-2. Two, two. two outs now for John Crook. 1-0. and oh. Grounds it to short. Another good throw, and that's out number three. The Expos managed to tie the game. It is now 2-2 two, two going into the bottom of the third. Rafael Palmero is leading off the bottom of the third for the Mets. 3-1 and one to him. And that's a base hit to right. So the first batter of every inning has reached base for the Mets so far. Right, runner on the first, nobody out for Jeremy Burnett. Full count. Oh, and he struck out. That's good, that's good. Ivan Calderon is next, one and one. The runner goes, and he's safe. Wow, Rafael Palmero with the stolen base. You know that uh, Charles Johnson is not doing too great when that happens. Two and two to Calderon now. That's a base hit to center. Should score a run. And the Mets take the lead back. It is 3-2 for the Mets thanks to a, a single by Ivan Calderon. 3-2 for the Mets. Uh, one out, runner on first for our Johnson. Two and one to him rounds it to third that's a double play but the Mets already struck for one point one run one point of damage it is 3-2 for the Mets heading into the top of the fourth Ruben Rivera leads off that inning for us no count to him oh I think that's a solo blast and it is all right tie game yet again Thanks to a subtle blast by Ruben Rivera, we have a 3-3 game. Charles Johnson is the batter now, 1-2, and, and he struck out swinging. Jeff King is next, 1-0 to him, grounds it to third. He's thrown out for out number two. Russ McGinnis is next. One and two to him. Oh, that's pop to the third baseman, Greg Jeffries, and that's out number three. The Expos do tie the game thanks to a solo blast by Ruben Rivera. We're going into the bottom of the fourth, tied at three, with Edgardo Alfonso leading the inning for the Mets. One and two. Strikeout swinging. Todd Green is next to him to him. Strikeout looking. Eric Hansen now with two outs. Full count. Strikeout swinging. There you go. Struck out the side. That's a that's a good inning. Top of the fifth now. Jody Reed leading off that inning. No count. Rounds it weekly to second, and he's thrown out for out number one. 
Hideo Nomo is next, so in his first at bat he had an opposite field double. Let's see if he can let's see if he if there's some more magic in that pitcher's bat. One and two. Struck out looking. Well, can't see if there's magic if you don't, if you don't swing. The line of the shields now with two outs. Two and one to him. That's a base hit. To, and it, that's going to be extra bases all the way to the fence. That's a stand up double for the shields. That's 19 straight games with a base hit for the line of the shields. So now we have a runner in scoring position with two outs for Kirby Pocket. No count to him. Oh, that's it to left. And that's out of here. That's a two run blast for Kirby Pocket. And all of a sudden, we have a 5 3 lead. All right, the Expos take their first lead of the game. It is now 5 3, thanks to a two run blast here. And with two outs, now John Croc comes to bat. Three and one to him. And he walks. All right. The, that inning is not over yet. Two out walk. That brings up Ruben Rivera. Two and one. Grounds it to second. He's thrown out at first for out number three. The Expos add two more runs on their score part of the scoreboard it is now 5-3 Expos going into the bottom of the fifth Quilvio Veras is going to be batting first here in inning number five oh and one grounds it to third he's thrown out at first for out number one Greg Jeffries is next one and one to him that's lined to third base, and he's out as well. That's two outs, two quick outs here. Rafael Palmero is next, one and one. Oh, I think that's out of here. And it is solo blast for Rafael Palmero, almost to a straight center. It is a 5-4 game for the Expos. The Mets just refuse to go away easily. Now Jeremy Burnitz is next. Two outs, 0 and 2. That's it weekly to left. And Rivera is there. That's out number 3. The Expos give up a run, but they are still up by 1. Going into the top of the 6, it is 5-4 for the Expos. Charles Johnson facing Eric Hansen. 1 and 2. Struck out swinging. Jeff King is next. 1 and 1 to him. Oh, that's popped pretty weakly. First baseman, Palmero is there. That's out number two. And now Russ McGuinness with two outs. One and one to him. That's it weekly as well. Alfonso is there. And that's out number three. Nothing to show for the Expos in inning number six. Going into the bottom of the sixth. The Expos are still up one. Now facing Ivan Calderon. One and oh. That's it weekly to center. Kirby Bucket is there. That's out number one. Howard Johnson is next. Full count. Grounds it to third. Thrown out at first for out number two. Now Edgardo Alfonso comes to bat with two outs. One and one. It weekly. And that's got by the Shields for out number three. The Mets go down one, two, three in inning number six. We're going into the top of the seventh. We're still up five, four. Jody Reed leading off here. The Mets are bringing in a reliever. Jim Gott is going to be on the mound now. One and two. Grounds it to short. And he's thrown out at first for out number one. I'm going to keep Hideo Nomo on the mound a little bit longer. He's been pitching okay-ish. I also really need to uh, save the arms of some of my relievers. That stupid 16-inning game, last game really killed my bullpen all right there's two outs because no more grounded out now it's the shields with two outs two into to him 
rounds it to first and he's thrown uh, he's out for the third out of the inning. Right, Todd Green is leading off the bottom of the seventh for the Mets. No count to him. Rounds it too short. Thrown out at first for out number one. Fernando Vina comes in as a pinch hitter. 1 0 to him. Rounds it to third. Thrown out at first for out number two. So two quick outs. Quilvio Veras is now the batter. 2 and 2 to him. Struck out swinging. All right. All right, so the Mets are now bringing in the injured Kent Marker on the mound. Kirby Puckett is going to be the first one to face him. Two and one to him. That's it to left center, but the left fielder Ivan Calderon is there for out number one. John Crock is next. Three and one to him. Oh. Is that John Crock's first? It is John Crock. Just it is first homer of the season. All right, it is six four for the Expos. John Crock with the solo blast is first of the season. Ruben Rivera is next with one out, no count to him. That's it solidly to center all the way to defense. That's gonna be extra bases. Oh, R Rivera. Okay, he, st he stopped at second base after all. So it is a double for Rivera. So we have a runner in scoring position. One out for Charles Johnson. One and two. And he struck out swinging. That's at least his third strikeout of the game. That's not a good game yet again. Jeff King now. Runner in scoring position. Two outs. Three and one. That's a base hit to center. Should score a run. And it does. It is a 7-4 game for the Expos. Russ McGinnis is next. Two outs, runner on first, two and two. That's it to left. It has some carry. And it's out of here. That's a two-run blast by Russ McGinnis. It is now 9-4 for the Expos. The, the Mets have had enough. They're bringing in Michael Jackson. Jody Reed is going to be the batter for us now. Two outs. Top of the eight. We're up five. One and two. Grounds it to short. And he's thrown out at first for out number three. The Expos add four runs to their lead. Thanks to a couple homers by... Um, John Crock and Russ McGinnis. It is now 9 4 for the Expos. Did I pitch long enough with normal? Yeah, I'm guilty of often keeping my pitchers in games too long. So I'm going to go ahead and bring Scott Bales. He doesn't have a lot of stamina, so he's only going to be pitching this inning. So first one to face him is going to be Greg Jeffries. No count to him. Grounds it to the pitcher. He's thrown out at first for out number one. Rafael Palmero is next with one out, one and two. Oh, that's out of here. That's the second home run of the game for Palmero. It is now 9-5 for the Expos. Jeremy Burnitz is next, two and two to him. Grounds it to short. That's out number two. All right, Calderon is next. One and one. That's it to center for a base hit right in front of Kirby Puckett. So the, the, the inning is still alive. 
two out single for Calderon. That brings up our Johnson. Oh, and one. That's a bad pitch. Runner in scoring position now. One and two. Oh, struck out looking. All right, it is now 9 5 for the Expos. We're going to bring in a pinch hitter. Luis Polonia is going to be that. Oh, I screwed that up. There you go. Oh, and one to Polonia. Rounds it to first, and that's out number one. The line with the shields is next. One and one. Rounds it down the line in left. That's going to be a base it. That's going to be a double for the shields. Stand up double for the line. So we have a running runner in scoring position. One out for Kirby Pocket. Three and one. And Kirby walks. So we have runners on first and second. One out. John Crock is now the batter. Full count to him. Is that another homer for him? Sure is. Two home run game for John Crock. His first two home runs of the season. And it is now a 12-5 game for the Expos. When I saw that first inning, I thought for sure we were going to lose that game. It looked, it looked like one of those games where everything just goes wrong. But... It turned around. That's nice. Uh, Ruben Rivera is next. One out. 0 oh, and 2. Struck out swinging. So there's two outs now for Charles Johnson. 2 and 1 to him. Mark Icorn is now on the mound. And it's it deep to left. And that's a home run for Charles Johnson. So that might get him out of his torpor at the plate. It is now a 13-5 game for the Expos. Jeff King is next. Two and two, two outs. Struck out swinging. So we added four more runs. It is a 13-5 lead. So, yeah. I think, uh, I think we're going to give the, the ball to John Doris. All right, so bottom of the ninth, we're up eight. Edgardo Alfonso is the batter, facing John Doris. One and two. And we hit him. All right, so free runner for the Mets. Top green is now the batter. Runner on first, nobody out. Two and two. That's it to right. Right at John Croc, however, and that's out number one. Bobby Aginson comes in as a pinch hitter for the Mets. No count. Oh, that's a bad pitch. All right, so runner in scoring position. One out. Two and one to Aginson. It's it to third. He's thrown out for out number two. So last out of the Mets is Quilvio Veras. One and one. Grounds it to second. He's thrown out at first, and that's the end of the game. A very nice 13 5 victory for the Expos in that one. So we are back into the winning column now. We, we made it a statement game, a lot of home runs. And despite not having his best start of the season, Ideo Nomo still notched his fifth win, so he's still undefeated. He's 5 0. Oh. That's pretty good. Mike Greenwell keeps his hit streak alive. Oh, he's at 20 games now against Milwaukee. And we might have that news next game if the Shields has a base it as well. And that's finished today. No more baseball news. Let's see here. Nothing here to talk about either. I'm gonna go ahead and save. We all know what happened that one time. 
All right, so we're ready to play game number two of the series. This time we're going to be facing Scott Carl. That's going to be his first uh, first game of the season. Carl is a lefty. We're going to be sending Brett Tomko for his second uh, MLB start. Uh, wasn't all that great in his first start, but he still managed to at least not get a decision, so... Despite not pitching well, he at least didn't earn the loss, I guess. Right, let's get this thing going. All right, I'm going to go ahead and keep my lineup like that. Uh, the Mets are going to go with Quilvio Veras, Greg Jeffries, Rafael Palmero, Jeremy Burnett, Ivan Calderon, Howard Johnson, Edgardo Alfonso, and Mike Maxudian is going to be the eighth batter. So exact same lineup, except that they're playing their backup catcher. So, yeah. Good test for Brett Tomko. That's a pretty good lineup that he's going to have to face. So go expose and play ball. Okay. So Scott Carl doesn't have too bad ratings. He has better control than the average, so he shouldn't be walking a whole lot of batters. We'll see what happens. All right, leading off the the game is going to be the line with the shields to face off Scott Carl, two and two. It's it all the way to right to Howard Johnson for out number one. John Crock is the next batter, three and one to him. That's it to right uh, to left. Sorry for a base hit. So opposite field single for John Crock. So we have a runner on first, one out. For Kirby Pocket, no count. Oh, that's it well all the way to the fence and right. That's going to be extra bases. Oh. And John Croc scores on the on the play. It is 1-0 for the Expos. Charles Johnson is next. Runner in scoring position. One out. Two and two to him. That's it weekly to right. Howard Johnson after it catches it for out number two. And on the play, Kirby Pocket moves up to third base. So now we have runners on a runner on third base. There's two outs. And Ruben Rivera is the batter. 0 and 2. And he struck out swinging. The Expos do take a 1-0 lead thanks to a double by Kirby Puckett. We are going into the bottom of the first with a 1-0 lead. Quilvio Veras facing off against Brett Tomko. 2-0 to him. That's popped. Jeff King is there. He catches it for out number one. Greg Jeffries is next. 1-2. and two. Grounds it to second. The shields with the throw, that's out number two. Rafael Palmero follows with two outs, two and two to him. And that's a base hit to right, out of the reach of Kenterbeck. And that's going to be a two out single. Brings up Jeremy Burnitz with two outs, two and two. Grounds it to third. We go the short route to second base, and that's out number three. All right. We are still up 1-0 going into the top of the second. Ken Turbeck facing Scott Carl. 0-1. And, and that falls in center field for a base hit. So Ken Turbeck with the single ear. Jeff King follows. Runner on first, nobody out. 2-2. Two two. That's it. Weekly popped to first, and that's out number one. Walt Weiss is now the next batter, 2 and 1. Grounds it to second. And they only get the lead runner at second base. Walt Weiss is safe at first. Two outs, runner on first. Brett Tomko is the batter, 1 and 2. And he struck out looking. 
Alright, the Expos do not score in that inning. Going into the bottom of the second, so up 1-0. Ivan Calderon facing Brett, facing off against Brett Tomko. 0-1, grounds it to short. He's thrown out at first for out number one. Howard Johnson is next, 2-2. Two two. Struck out swinging. Edgardo Alfonso is next, 3 and 1 to him. And he walks. Alright, so two out walk for the Mets. That brings up Mike Maxudian. 1 and 1. Grounds it to short. And we go the short route to second base yet again to end the inning. And that's that for the Mets. Top of the third. Expos are up. One nothing. The line of the shields facing off here to start the third. Two and two. Oh, he struck out looking. John Crook is next. Oh, and one to him. That's it to left. Pretty much right at Calderon. So that's out number two. Kirby Pocket now. Oh, and one. And that's it to center. Jeremy Burnitz is there, and that's out number three. The Expos go down in order in inning number three. They are still up one nothing. Bottom of the third, Scott Carl leading off that inning. Full count. Struck out swinging. Quilvio Veras is next. One and two to him. Struck out swinging. Greg Jeffries now with two outs. 0 and 2. Rounds it to second, and he's thrown out at first for out number three. The Mets also go down in order in inning number three. We are going into the top of the fourth. It is still one nothing. Charles Johnson leads off the fourth for us. 2-0. Oh. Grounds it to short. Oh, and then it's booted by Alfonso, so Johnson is so safe at first. Nobody out for Ruben Rivera. No count. And that's mishandled by the catcher. It is now a runner in scoring position for us. Full count. That's it weekly to center. Burnitz is after it. He catches it for out number one. Now Kentor Beck is the next batter. 1-0. and oh. That's it weekly to center as well. Cut by Burnitz again. And that's out number two. Two wasted outs. Our runner didn't even advance. So two outs now for Jeff King. No count. Grounds it to second. And he's thrown out at first for out number three. Bottom of the fourth. Rafael Palmero leading off that inning for the Mets. Full count. And he walks. Lead off walk for the Mets. Jeremy Burnitz follows. 3 0. Oh, and he walks as well. So that's two walks to start inning number four for the Mets. Nobody out. Two on for Ivan Calderon. 3 and 1. And he walks as well. Brett Tomko loads, walks the bases loaded to start inning number four. That's not good. Right, Howard Johnson is next. One and two. Struck out swinging. That's huge. That's very, very huge. Edgardo Alfonso now. One and two to him. Grounds it to short. We only get the runner at second base. The runner scores. Uh-oh. Who's hurt? Oh, Ivan Calderon is hurt. Okay. All right, so we have a tight game. Ivan Calderon is hurt. There's runners on first and third with two outs now. And Mike Maxudian is going to be the batter. One and two. Grounds it to short. We take it to the base, and that's the end of the inning. So the Mets do tie the game. It's tied at one. Um, 
All right, so they brought in Bobby Aginson to play in left field for Ivan Calderon. Walt Weiss leads off the fifth for us. Scott Carl is still on the mound for the Mets. One and one. Grounds it to third, and he's thrown out at first for out number one. Brett Tomko is the batter now. Went to. Struck out swinging. All right, so two outs for the line of the shields now. O and one to him. It's a two left, and it falls in front of the left fielder for a base hit. That's 20 straight games with a base hit for the line of the shields. We're gonna get a little news about that. All right, runner on first two outs. John Cruck is the batter, no count. The shields goes, and he's thrown out. So that's that. So 1-1, one, one, bottom of the fifth, Scott Carl leads off that inning for the Mets. One and two. Struck out looking or not too sure if he he held, but it looked like a strike. I don't know. Quilvio Veras now with one out, two and two to him. Grounds it to short. He's thrown out at first for out number two. Greg Jeffries now. Oh, and two to him. Grounds it to short. He's thrown out at first for out number three. Mets go down one, two, three in inning number five. We are going to, uh, into the top of the six. Still tied at one here at Shea Stadium. Uh, John Crock is going to be the batter. Two and one. it to center and that's gonna be a base hit runner on first nobody out for Kirby pocket three and one to him gets it to right it's a lazy fly ball there it's cut by our Johnson for out number one that brings up Charles Johnson oh and one oh that's gonna be a base hit to center a rare base hit for Charles Johnson so we have runners on first and second, one out for Ruben Rivera. He's due for a base hit. One and two. Rounds it to third. They get Johnson out at second base, so we have runners on first and third with two outs now. And Kent Urbeck is going to be the batter. 0 oh and 2. And he struck out looking. Oh my. Right, bottom of the six, still tied at one. Um, Rafael Palmero leading off that in inning, full count, and he walks. Jeremy Burnitz is next with our runner on first, nobody out, one and one. That's a bad pitch. So Palmero is now at second base, two and two to Burnitz, and that's out of here. No, not out of here, but it's all the way to defense. It scores a run. And the Mets are now up 2-1. to one. switch here so we're gonna have Russ McGinnis playing first base now I think I'm gonna bring in let's see let's go with John Ceruti for now Bobby Ginson is the batter, runner in scoring position, nobody out. We have a new pitcher, and that's a bad pitch to start. That's great. Runner on third, nobody out. 1-0 to Bobby Ginson. That's it weekly to right. John Crook is there, and 
and that wasn't deep enough to bring in the runner. One out for our Johnson, one and one. That's a base hit to left, that's gonna score a run. It is now three to one for the Mets. Runner on first, one out for Edgardo Alfonso. One and oh. And oh, that's a diving catch by Kirby Puckett here for out number two. Now, Mike Maxudian is the batter with two outs, runner on first, one and two to him. That's it weekly to center. Kirby Puckett goes after it, catches it for out number three. The Mets do score two runs. They are now up three to one. Scott Carl is still on the mound for the Mets. Uh, we have Jeff King and now to lead off the seventh. 0 oh, 2. Grounds it to short. He's thrown out at first for out number one. Walt Weiss is next. Full count to him. And he walks. That brings up Russ McGuinness with a runner on first. One out. Full count. And he walks as well. All right. We might be able to do something here. So we have two runners on, one out. The line with the shields is the batter, one and one. And that's it all the way to defense. Oh, yeah. The line with the shields coming through once again for the Expos. Oh, only one run scored. I thought both would. All right. So it's a 3 2 game now. Thanks to a double by the line with the shield. So there's two runners in scoring position. One out for John Croc. Three and one to him. And he walks. So bases are now loaded with one out for Kirby Puckett. One and no to him. And that's it to left. Pretty much right at the Ginson. But that's deep enough to score a run. We have a 3-3 tie, folks. So we have runners on first and third now. Two outs for Charles Johnson. One and one. That's it to right. Howard Johnson after it, and he catches it for out number three. The Expos manage to tie the game. It is now a 3-3 game. Going into the bottom of the seventh, Chris Pritchett comes in as a pinch hitter for the Mets, facing John Ceruti. One and one. That's going to be a base hit falls in Nana Land. All right, so runner on first, nobody out for Quilvio Veras. Full count to him. Grounds it to third. And we only get the lead runner at second base. Fielder's choice, one out runner on first for Greg Jeffries, two and two to him. Grounds it to first. We get a runner out at first, but Varus is safe at second base. So there's two outs and a runner in scoring position for the Mets. Rafael Palmero is the batter now, no count to him. That's it to center, that's going to be extra bases, that's going to score a run, it's going to be 4-3 for the Mets. Alright, runner in scoring position, two outs for Jeremy Burnett, one and two. And he struck out looking. Alright, the Mets take the lead back, it is now 4-3. Uh, Jim Gott comes in as a reliever for the Mets. We have Ruben Rivera to lead off the eighth for us. No count. Flies it to right. Howard Johnson is there, that's out number one. We're gonna bring in a pinch hitter for the pitcher. It's gonna be yet again Luis Polonia. One out for him, full count. And that's a liner to shortstop for out number two. That looked like ball four to me. Jeff King now with two outs, one and oh. Grounds it to first, and he's thrown out for out number three. All right, we're still down one. Um, yeah, 
Let's go with Ota. Katsumasa Ota comes in to pitch inning number eight against Bobby Ginson. One and two. Grounds it to second. And he's thrown out at first for out number one. Howard Johnson is next. Full count to him. That's popped. Jeff King is there. And that's out number two. Edgardo Alfonso is the next batter. Three and one to him. Oh, that's it solidly all the way to the fence. That's going to be extra bases. That's a double for Alfonso. So runner in scoring position. Two outs for Mike McSudian. Two and two. That's another base hit to center. That's going to score a run. It is a 5-3 lead for the Mets. Two outs, run around first for Fernando Vina, who comes in as a pinch hitter. Three and one to him, and he walks. Two on, two outs for Quilvio Veras, one and one. That's a base hit to right, all the way to the fence. That's gonna score at least one run. And it scored two, so it is now 7-3 for the Mets. Greg Jeffrey is now the batter. Runner on second base, two outs. Two and two. That's it to center. Kirby Puckett is there, and that's out number three. The Mets add three more runs to their lead. It is now 7-3. We're going to need a small miracle in inning number nine. Frank Viola is now on the mound for the Mets. Walt Twice is the first one to face him. You know what? I'm bringing in the pinch hitter. We're gonna go with Johnny Knott. O and two to Johnny Knott against Frank Viola. And he struck out looking. Russ McGinnis is next. One and two to him. Struck out look at wow, we have no intention of trying to come back in this game. The line of the shields is next. There's two outs, we're down four, top of the ninth. Full count. And he walks. That brings up John Crook. Full count to him. Rounds it to third. He's thrown out at first, and that's the end of the game. We drop that one seven three. Straight now at 20 for the shield, as we saw. Uh, Rondell White went 5-on-5 five five against the Rockies. That's pretty good. Right, did we do anything? I'm going to go ahead and save the game. I also think I'm gonna go ahead and stop here for today, folks. Um, I know I or originally said that I wanted to play all four games, but I've been sick lately, and I don't. My energy levels are not great. My voice is also bothering me a little bit. My throat is. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and stop here, and I'll do the other two games uh, of this series against the Mets next time out. So. As usual, I do want to thank you for tuning in, and until I roll this game again, I'll see you folks next time. Thank you.